Good morning, it's MJ, the creator of The Crow Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me this beautiful Saturday morning. It is June 15th, and this is a general reading for the collective using The Crow Tarot. And for everyone who wished Layla well last night, thank you so much. Yesterday was trying, to say the least. And I would like to report that today is better. However, it has not been so good, starting at four o'clock this morning. So, you know, she eats these cherries, that land on the sidewalk and we have cherry trees everywhere in our neighborhood as well as fig trees and so she's just I mean she just scoops them up I mean she's like a freaking hoover you know and she just like sucks them into her body and they have to come out some way and unfortunately it's it's not it's not a pleasant way so anyway between those and the foxtails my gosh walking walking Layla recently it's just it feels like Everywhere there's a mine, you know, like a waiting to, to get her. So let's start off here with the foundation card. And this is that energy when you think about where we are today. That's set up our, our current situation. This would have been the energy that sparked motion or created friction or eased a situation so something else could enter. So if we think about how this energy came into our lives independently here, each one of us has a different story. You would have found perhaps yours began with a time of learning or going back to school or getting curious about something and really diving in and, and really absorbing yourself in whatever it is. Now our current situation, which is the result of this time of education and connecting with a belief perhaps or an idea that was outside your own, the energy we have right now is this Knight of Pentacles. So this may have started off as a study, like something you studied. And now you're in it, you're working hard and slow moving. There's progress, right? You can kind of feel that there's progress happening. It may not be swift like you'd like, maybe sort of sluggish at times, but nonetheless, you're always moving forward. And now the information that comes through that the crows want you to know this is the advice. So if you're feeling any unsettledness as a result of how slow things are progressing or perhaps if you know um, you feel a bit derailed or you know you're not certain of where this path is leading you this is the advice that the crows bring back so very different energy between these two so let's get started so, here you are, the student, right? You took the time, you invested in yourself, you invested in your knowledge, um, your career perhaps, you know, or just however it was, you, you, you became, a, you know, a lot more um, complete in, in whatever it was that you were studying. So it was like, this was a time where you, um, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be school either. I mean, it could just be that you, you know, you were passionate about something and because of that passion, you uh, took the steps to understand it better. And because of that, it's like it makes your whole situation a little bit more um, comprehensive, right? You were able to see your, your, you know, what you wanted to do or where you wanted to go um, from a place of, of understanding all the steps that you need to get there. And education is part of that, right? I mean, like, um, if you want to be a yoga instructor, you just, you know, you have, to, there are certain things that have to be understood and, and taught and learned. And, and so this, this Hierophant indicates that there was a time when you were passionate about learning something new or gaining information from someone else that would benefit you in the long term. Something that you would then be able to hold dear and pass on to someone else or to others who would benefit from your experience, right? I mean, there's one thing that can be, you know, for sure is that you can lose all of your material possessions in this world, but if you gain knowledge on something, 
that can't be taken away from you. Nobody can take that away from you. So this is a, such a valuable asset in your life, is this understanding and this education. And so here you have this key, and this key opens the door to new possibilities as a result of your putting in the time, investing this, this effort in learning something new. You know, finding somebody who may have been a mentor, perhaps. And now you're in this motion, this forward moving motion, and it's very steady, it's like this very firm, um, grounded energy. You know where you wanna go. You know the steps that you need to get there. You know, you're, you, you may not, um, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. Um, you may, you may not um, feel as though you're progressing as quickly as you would like, but you are. You know, the, the key here is to stay focused, to focus your energy on the path ahead and to stay strong because you have that work ethic within you to persevere. You know, if you're, if you're, um, if you, you know, if you're hell bent on doing something, right? And it's like, yes, it's like you may have obstacle after obstacle and hurdle after hurdle. Um, those are going to be just part of life as part of the growing process. You know, it, it, it's not going to be an easy ride necessarily, but it's going to be a steady one. It's a steady one of progress. So, you know, it's just how life is sometimes. <laughs> we would all love to have that path where it's like, la -di da life is easy and, you know, we can finish our task and move on our way and um, rest, but that doesn't happen. However, the crows do bring back something here. And the crows bring this energy, this vibrant energy, and it's saying that you should seize this moment, be powerful, rise up. It's time to break clear, like break away. If there's an obstacle right now, you have this power within you to break out of it. You know, if there's something that's holding you back, you know, sure, you can whittle away at it you know, here and there, and, and eventually you'll get through. But the energy that's coming through here with this Ace of Swords is not one of slowly chipping away at a problem. It's addressing the problem, confronting this problem, and breaking and using this powerful energy to, to you know, break, break free from it. This is not a problem that you're going to have that... Um, You'll be able to, you're going to be able to avoid and there may be some haziness as a result of this issue but you have this power right now to cut to to, to you know just break away to you know to cut it clear there isn't you know there isn't um, much stopping you at this point Right now, you may be feeling like, you know, it's slow, life is slow, things are moving slowly, but that's because that's the energy you're inviting to the situation. You know, it, it, it is good to kind of keep a slow, steady pace sometimes, but then other times things need direct action, right? Sometimes you need to like put your button gear <laughs> and and figure out a problem and use your logical mind and really like, Think about something and how can you how can you speed up this process a little bit? You have the strength to do it, you have the wisdom to do this. Now it's time to get like excited and to you know to use your power. I mean like really channel this this power that you have within you to overcome any obstacles. Or if you want to move this along a little bit quicker, you know, when you stay focused, when you're focused on whatever it is that you want to achieve and you look for solutions, right? This is about, you know, you, you know, seeing your situation as it is in reality, you know, cutting through all the, the, perhaps, you know, anything that may be preventing you like thoughts, beliefs, or, um, you know, just limiting, like, things, the stuff that limits us. You know, we all have these things, I think, that hold us back. or like, oh, it might be too hard. 
But the Ace of Swords here is saying that you can do it. You can you can overcome whatever challenges you 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 may be facing, and yes, it is going to slow. It's going to be you know a, a slow moving event for you, but it doesn't have to be a snail's pace. It doesn't have to. It can it can pick up the pace. This this horse can trot if it wants to, but you're going to be the one that will have to um, instigate that, and that's by you. Like rising up, taking command, seizing this opportunity to confront something that you have a belief that's that's holding you back. But once you confront it, you will shatter it and you will find victory. You may be tempted to stay in this place of haze or, you know, like not see this obstacle. You can see here like these clouds are kind of um, blocking, but they clear. They clear as soon as you cut through whatever this this barrier is, they start to clear. So victory can be yours in this situation. You will find success, but you have to address whatever this block is. Again, you are moving forward. Life is, you know, at a steady pace. It's just kind of trudging along, you know. But if you want to get to your destination a little bit quicker, if you want to overcome this hurdle that may be blocking the progress or just at least slowing you down a bit you're going to have to come clear with where this problem sits within you where this block is how this obstacle you know if um you know if it's like a money issue here you know is there a fear around money that's holding you back is there an issue that you think about like when, when it comes to money, like I'm focusing in here because at the, this Knight of Pentacles at the center, you know, the, the hurdle that you may be encountering right now may be one where you're feeling uncertain about money and that the focus perhaps doesn't need to be necessarily on, on the material possessions or, you know, on the material plane, but rather how you're approaching it from the spiritual plane. And so, yeah, I mean, the, you know, that's what, like, I get here. It's like, this vibe to me is that the, the, because the focus right now has been so much on what's going on with material possessions, physical stuff, that the block that you have right now is one where if you dive in deep and you look to see where that block comes from, what, where, where was that established? Why are you going at such a slow pace? You may uncover that there's something behind it. And once you figure out what that is, whether it's that fear of um, uh, not being accepted by your, your peers, you know, if you, um, you know, if you grew up in a house that, you know, looked down upon people who are wealthy and all of a sudden that's your goal is to be a successful, whatever it is that you want to be successful at. It's really hard to be financially successful if deep down in your heart you believe that there's something wrong with successful people or that they're crooks or that, you know, there's something bad about them, right? It's really hard to become rich if you look down at the rich or if you point your finger at the rich and call them evil. So, because that that creates that block, right? You can't have you can't have that. That's like sending to the universe two completely different messages. You're saying, "Oh, please, I want to be, I want to win the lottery. Please let me win the lottery." And then at the other side, you're sending to the universe. But people who win the or people who have money are horrible, evil. You know, however it is that you you know, we as a society. We, um, we tend to do that, right? Anyway, with people, we're like, oh, that person's so rich. And we say it as if it's a negative. Instead of saying like, oh my God, that person has so many opportunities to make this world a better place. It's not about the money. It's about what they do with the money, right? So if you can figure out where that block is, I mean, we shouldn't, we shouldn't, we should never look at somebody and say, Oh, it's the money that's bad because the money isn't bad. The money is just a thing. The thing it's like money is like, you know, having a bagel or having a croissant, right? I love croissants. I can say that left and right. I love croissants. But if I were to say I love money, oh my God, <gasps> right? How horrible is that? 
So it's what you do with it. Now, if I eat 10 croissants a day, I'm going to blow up like a poison dog and I'm not going to be healthy. If I don't um, use my money for good <laughs> or if I am uh, not generous or if I'm a hoarder with my money, that's no good either, right? So it's, it's not about the, the material world here. It's about what's going on inside. You know, what's your brain telling you, right? That's where these blocks come from. So, you know, it's funny, you know, it's like, this is what, if there's a block here in regards to your progress, the reason why your progress may be so slow, it could be because you're focusing your attention in the wrong direction. You know? You've done the time, you've put, you've invested in something. You've invested in whatever this is that you're working so hard at. Don't let a belief, a negative belief, or something limit you from moving ahead and moving ahead quicker. I mean, great, you've got all this knowledge behind you and you're moving forward, well, bloody hell, what if it takes you 30 years to get to your destination? I mean, it may, and maybe that's okay, that's okay because it's not about the, the end for some, it's about the, um, the journey, but what if that destination has a purpose that you need to get to so that you can move ahead to something else? Maybe that's not the final destination, but time, we only have a, you know, a limited amount of time on this planet. So if you're moving at a slower pace than you think, the question is, what are your beliefs? And can you break free? Can you rise above them? Can you figure out what, where, where that wall is that's holding you back? Because once you do, oh my gosh, like once you do that, you will rise up and you will find victory. I know it took a long time to get to this. Whew, Lordy, I'm sorry. But, um, but that's what I get here. So anyway, bye for now. Much love. Peace. And I'll talk with you tomorrow. Bye.